Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, with us today. My name is Joko Minomiya. I'd like you to introduce uh, my sons. Uh, first, my oldest son, Kukancho Mike Minomiya, and first, he will be, you know, uh, will be after my position to take over. So. Uh, tonight is he tried to organize today. My name is Jokos Minomiya, and uh, second is second son, uh, Sensei Koichi Minomiya. Uh, he's going to be uh, my partner tonight. Okay, yes. Yes. and uh, third uh, son, uh, Sensei Jota Minomiya. Uh, so he is an you know, ancient technique, an ancient fighter, and MMA fighting too right now. Yes, yes. And he is going to be uh, behind the camera today. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, before beginning, I really like to say uh, thank you to Blackbird Magazine for uh, inviting me here. Uh, 1995, 25 years ago, Blackbird uh, Magazine wrote Sabaki challenge is 7,500 uh, spectator, uh, biggest karate event for one night uh, in the country. You know, uh, I always remember with a good uh, memory. Uh, I like uh, four things. I have to go, you know, technique to find my history. Uh, you know, before it's a more full contact, you know, using too much sabaki, but you know, I try to use that. Uh, uh, also, I invented a technique too. So I was 17 years old, I was doing a judo, also karate too. So from the you know, idea from a judo that go ashibarai, sweeping legs. So I thought I can use somehow that technique. So, uh, Ikona name is Ryo Ashiparai. So in the fighting, uh, in the fighting, you want to use Ashiparai, you just from outside, was not really doesn't work. In. So I like to really take him down. So for that, I like to him to push back, see, reach, put in the back foot. So for that, maybe you can go, you know, go back, actually go okay, or maybe go up and go back the hit too. So now, that's the chance. Then you don't go behind them, sweep. So you just go almost into the front of the hand. Then, other hand going to front of the body, then you start sweep back legs. But this time, you have a pressure from here too. With the pressure. So I'm going to show you one, okay? So here, then here and here. Ah. Yes. Ah. So I'd like to introduce here, uh, I'd like to explain, I'm sorry, uh, like this. Uh, so here's the position. He's going to move back from here to there. That's a chance now. So I go here. Now I'm going to step into from this position to this position. And other foot from here, where I'm going to swing into the behind and sweep in both legs. So that is the Ryo Hashigari. So you step back and move in front of the foot, not the behind. And sweep with uh, front legs, back legs, pressure together, sweep up. So anyway, that was uh, when I was 17. I created this technique in uh, 1974. That is seven Japanese, including me, and came from Japan and fighting with the uh, American fighter team and one of the dojo. And that time in Japan, hmm? using a lot, so many a low kick, people are kicking oh, a, yeah. a lot. So, now I'm thinking, 
you know, people, you can say, roll cake is, let's make that roll cake. Where do you think of now? But that time is, they were almost through this way. Not go round the cake, and we don't use that instead of uh, the anchor area, we use a shin part. Shin. Go into the most uh, weak, I'm not going to here's the most muscle. And muscle is finished down here, and the tendon here. Really up here too, this part. But that time is they don't, don't do kicking here, or here, because they were standing. So it starts broken, they start broken, then go stop, and bam, they're going to start dropping. They start changing to that. And this kick is, see, so not round, then go into his go in. Go into. You can feel, no, I mean, this is, you know, uh, kicking very really different for round the kick. So give your power and your weight go into the legs. So that's using a lot. So the memory I have is one of uh, my top uh, senpai fighting one of the fighter, American fighter. And he, they know something low kick, but American people, they didn't know low kick. But, you know, uh, what kind, what kind is not. But this guy starts to roll. It's a low kick, and then he was uncomfortable. He went straight down to the floor on the front head. So I was watching them. Then next, uh, the teacher said, you know me, your turn. So I had to fight the same guy. So I had to think about, see, if I do the same, I like the low kick too. So if I do the same, you want to do the same thing. So I tried to now punch. So he had to block or something had to do that time. I thought it was going to go kick. So I did just using punches. So from me, then bam, 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 I kick. I did it two times. He went back, we finished. But you know, that kind of memory I have for low kick. So that's, uh, you know, almost uh, uh, 45 years ago. And now, I was 23 years old, uh, 43 years ago, right? I tried, all attack is low roundhouse kick, front kick, middle and the high roundhouse kick, back kick, screen back kick, but he didn't handle it from top. So, oh, you have the top, they're going to surprise. So, that's what I got from idea again, from judo's the zenpo kaiten, you know, you can almost touch the wall around your body, protect the body to lay down. But I thought I can use that one in the air, and I try practice, you know, hanging uh, from the same hanging ball or you know, uh, arm bar stuff like that, target, and then try to turn and kick practice. So uh, that kind. They have a video here. It's okay. All right. So we have a question from yes. Sensei Clue in Boulder, Colorado. What are some nice recommendations to train alone right now other than kata? Some self training. I do by myself is with a bag. You know, something. Anything okay? Just hand me something so you know you yeah, are okay. you know problem there. Yeah. Right. So okay. you might just do you have that maybe Sorry. even the uh, what so you can bang, attack and go out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can practice always, you know. And from here you can they drop and drop so you can turn that and go into that triple bang. You know, always movement is what's calm. What do you do? And then which position you go? You can practice. So, yeah, you know, you have to make an imagination. Other way, you can. Oops. Yeah, I like to show uh, the technique too. See, uh, what I did is sometimes uh, you cannot really space like this. Then running into, then they know they can move away for a real kick. So kind of the uh, cross distance. So what I did, uh, I showed the uh, last time, uh, sorry, if you this time, see, you can punch him, then roll, then go, then you can go, uh, tumble, uh, 
will kick like this. Alright? So kind of set up is kind of I think the important for this thing. Um, but let go. Then go to the next kick, something like that. Okay. So that was uh, uh, I was 23 years old. I invent the real kick. You know, after that, we are Japanese. Even the pro wrestler using on the TVs, and they made a name. I didn't make a name, but somebody made uh, Kaiken Domash, this whole body on skin and kick. And the American made this real kick, right? And later, from copies, you know, like axe kick. That's made later too. So when time comes, like that way, progress, even technique too. They always think about it, right? Yes. And some question, okay? I can go next. So 1978, that's, I was 24 years old. That was at the All Japan Championship, tennis one, with the full contact. And that time, I used this, you know, stopping. This guy is, I was uh, like 175. Other opponent was uh, 223 pounds, Chuck Kiro. So, and he always do the same technique. He always pull down, then bam, face kick. Other uh, people get knocked out. So I cannot, him to come across me, so I try to use a stopping. But later I thought it's really any kind of attack, you can use this stopping. Okay? But, let's go, they're going to start to move. Then, when that, that, just like a mighty, you have to counter, you have to do it. But they move first. So if you throw only front kick, they can parry easy, most easy one block. But if they're doing something, you can stop, and you cannot block same time. Much you know, same time they don't block. They try to kick, so you have to move in straight, right? And the, I had all Japan, I think you seen the uh, video, you know, that's a good timing, you know, you can finish down too, so you can dance and kick, all the way down, so one of my tournaments, you know, but I keep saying is, that's not really finishing kick, that was lucky, usually set up, then, that's the next move, just like, uh, you know, if we, if this, bam, stop it here, now you can go outside move, that's just a move, you can kick in stuff like that too. Also, you can punch them to any kind of video. Bam! You see. Then you can go next kick. Other side punch, jab punch them. Then you can go back. Then you can go next one too. Punches. And then you can roll kick, roll it up. Boom! Set back. Then you can go up. Then you can go the whole set. Then you can go back. Then you can go back. Then you can go Right? Even back kick, spin back kick, don't we? You chant them. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you chant, you say, huh? Just sit, and he cannot stay. So you don't need a way to calm this, this. Okay? Kancho, what was your biggest mental challenge fighting in the All Japan from Faras in Denver? Faras? Faras. What was your biggest mental challenge fighting in the All Japan? Yeah, I had that every year. I had early year. You know, I didn't have a stamina. Then didn't have a technique. It's not right. And uh, you know, everything you have to everything has to equal. Even ring has to strong. Technique is good. Power to you know needs to. So everything has to you feel. Uh, right, in the right time, I think you can win. So. Oh, mm. so, and uh, I think you know that experience is very important too. You have to try, not to just be doing it. Oh, I understand. It's not. You have to try in the fighting, using, and go to the tournaments. Learn with other styles in this. I can learn so many 
running. And yeah, that's kind of very important. So I think uh, let's go uh, beginners. You know, beginners when come they they don't know maybe you need to block, but a lot of time hit. But in the mirror, you know, they start blocking off. They come okay. But if you want to advance, they start feel oh this guy up. You know, they late before it starts, oh back it off. So um, that's it, that's the great experience. Okay, next technique I like to draw is uh Sabaki. Right? And really I, I show you Sabaki too, but uh, very important Sabaki is when somebody punch or kick, come, you try to carry away, go to the blind spot, then you have to counter attack, you have to finish. If you just block, let go, you can't finish. Someday you, have, you lose. Because if one, maybe you get away. If two, no way. If you just like this, you can come from behind. So make sure when right turn, boom, bam, then you can go next one too. So you have to do till finish, you have to practice, right? So Sabaki, regular is you come straight on, usually cross block. You don't open, open, then from the evil. So you're going to from outside, bam. You can punch down, you could go bam this way, this way you have to push away, right? Not from inside. From this one, from outside, bam, or this way. Either way, so this squirt, side way, or bang. Anyway, use this, then positioning is bang, then tap. You can do a hikimawashi called in uh, sabaki. I have a two grabbing technique, most useful. So hikimawashi is after that, foot on with front foot and start spin turn and tap. Let go down to the floor, let go finishing. Finishing too, right? So I think it's important to put on the front foot, they can spin. If you like this, you want to spin, they're going to suck, right? Yes, and say so next, uh, high roundhouse kick. You come this way, you try to go block. Now again, go to outside and open up here and run kick. Now his body is heavy here, so you don't want to go front way now. When you go back way, then hook. Front of you, always front of you, then you finish. So this way, sabaki, blind spot. If you go turn back way, if you back kick up, if you go this way, you're going to hit. If you move, move back, you can move away kick, but you have to start all over. So that, I keep saying this here, if you can turn back way, that's where your chance is coming. So don't think about it, you have to protect, protect. That's a big chance. He's showing back. So you have to do something, you move it, that's broken, broken. And you can hook. And if you push it back, and go back there. But if you go front, maybe go inside, hook. Inside, thank you. You can be shot. Finish in two. Okay? You can back it. So anytime, I like to extend it. If you buy it like this. And if you like this, keep the head goes like this. So, what the best way is, push head down, and you cannot do really it kick outside, see? Then you don't go back here. And you're gonna, they're going to come to the back. So what is from inside, and straight okay too, but still, his you know, power is there. But if you go open, 45 days behind, and the RP motion, oh, they go up, they're going down this way. So you have to, after you kick, you have to pull back. Then you have to punch, all right? So if you go back, they go, like a back to his tight back. So now you go back throw. Back throw to, you go foot back, you push this way, you got to all the way to four. So see this one? If you hook from inside, look, they come here. You have to move back this way. After, boom, that's it. You keep back there, and pinch in two, all right? They are good too. If you get a back position, a lot of time people cannot take that because they always cover head. You cannot do a marshy here. 
because you know he's headed like this or so the prophet you know somebody behind like this so you cannot see this way right but you know we have a front this way front floor south too but if you are basic from if you are behind open up again from behind from inside right you don't keep this way you don't keep this way too so you understand so you know 45 you're going up up and up hold down and you can finish too so everything this angle is going to be important see if you are positioning the angle is important yes so we have a question from peru yes. this is from uh, Marco from Peru wants to ask Concho if there's any specific exercises to work on to improve timing. How to train timing? Timing is, you know, if you have a opponent, then timing you have to do timing practice. Yeah? If you do counter stopping or run on jiku or move away, but you know, that's a timing everything. That's very important. So. You have to put in your mind what's time to come, then right time, you have to parry, stopping, you have to practice. So like I, again, you know, if you do a point, that's good, but if not, you have to make that imagination. Then with bag, I always think about, you know, bag is not just punch kicking. So they, are, they have arm, legs too, and they can kick you, punch you too. Oh, their left side comes with that, you can blow up. For other side and tap. You have to imagine how which foot, which foot you take the uh, foot down foot, and you have to go next move. So, but anyway, What's yeah, imagination or with the opponent, you know, many times you have to practice. Yes. Okay. We have another question from Ohio. This is actually a new ancient branch that's forming there. And he says, Do you have any favorite stories of Mas Oyama? So, say Mas Oyama. Any favorite stories? I have uh, many stories, <laughs> you know, uh, really, I was, she was, he came to Hawaii, so no one uh, with him, so I had to go fly from Denver, then I stayed with him uh, in his uh, hotel, stuff like that, so I had to do a massage, you know, this kind of stuff, but anyway, uh, one thing, if you are karate man, you don't buy house first. You get dojo first and live in corner someplace. And if when you get money, you can buy a house. That's one I always listen. That is right. Man. I bought house to uh, dojo too. So I thought you know that is really you know. Nice, and I follow him too. So. Yes. Okay. Now let's do our next uh, little bit more. Then uh, positioning is important too. Uh, a lot of times when you can block or parry, but you know you can not set what you really want. So sometimes different space for. So that's one you have to practice too. So uh, like uh, inside low kick on, I like to. Do just block is I don't want to too much this side now. So try if you come next time my leg in front. You know, this my leg come, you don't stop, then you make on the uh, parry away. So but this one you don't parry, but move away. You keep it so move away the point. But a lot of time is if a good one going to that way, you want bam go like this. But sometimes uh she want she don't want to show back when you fight it, so uh, sometimes bam come back to so. so if this way I think that you grab outside and as I can remember put your weight from and you can put down the next inside eye you can, you can go see and the second one and maybe a 45 how to bang how to it so this one is showing how to back you take a back motion then you can go tensor cancel you need a tensor cancel get is kick inside you have to take it off end up, you don't hold, because it's going down. So after you kick, pick up, but uh, once it's up, then go like this, you cannot fight back once it's Then you have to go, finishing punch you can do, right? So one side up is point two. So usually kick inside, take it off, other side keep holding. 
All right? Well, sometimes we tackle. Uh, sometimes you might be the, you know, before to the mark position, most round. Uh, we, you know, I told you, even better, if you should get back position, how you can finish? You know, a lot of people get back and turn around way they have to do. Uh, you should do something good technique for that. Yeah. So, if you turn it more, it's good and then BAM! So, you don't even go this side, so this side. Then start with sweeping. Remember from back portion, I showed you the, the uh, stage. Now from inside, the 45 degree, and pull this way, don't push back. Pull this way, and look down. Um, remember, this say three going down too, and you can finish too. After you check that, swing back. That's very important, right? Yes. Okay, so one, one, two, three. So any position count, you have to do that. So that kind, you know, you have to know. Although okay, just one practice, you go different space, you cannot. It's okay? Yes. Uh, Shyam Sri Kumar mm -hmm. is asking, Kanto, please explain Sabaki style defense against a double or a single leg takedown attempt, like a yes. wrestling takedown. Uh, this is uh, later, very soon uh, now coming up too. Yeah, that one is Sabaki uh, ancient karate, made really, you know, regular Sabaki, then uh, grow uh, more technique. That's one. Um, I like to introduce now how I did it is, you know, they using the shikuzu shimash, then all the finishing, they're not right for me is. So how can skate? So I was watching the World Sabaki Challenge, how can we come this way, how can, so that's I came up is, you know, like a, uh, any, any kick, you know, if he grab the right, outside move. And if you move away, next one coming on like this, you might end up. So what you do is, he went that way, you fall, and hand drop. Don't say grab this way. You need to sit back and under them. Now you can attack, right? You can kick in, punch in, you can go attack too. So this make an even back. Before you make a 90%, you got everything power. But if you step one step from, and right back, that's make even. So I thought that is uh, made really difference uh, ancient karate, right? And if you do hikimash, two hand technique, remember? Two kind of grabbing, most important one. If come down, back, then hook in neck. Now what to do? So head this way, you cannot. So head to go down, and same, the grabbing is the same. Same time, so step, three in them, you can grab back. So, if you grab back, say, if he can't run half stick like this, no, huh? <clears throat> that's three coming again. You can pull, and that's a good time too. Say, if somebody kick him, you can hook. These are one leg. One, two legs. You run. You run it. Hook them. Hook them. One second and hook other foot. And you can finish. So it means you move in here to there, but foot is safe. And you have to hook in his front foot. Front end. You but you to move up. You cannot stay the same spot. Move away and flip back. And you can finish. So, if you send a tap, hook. Yeah. Then, before this foot, and you do this, but they're not always the same. Sometimes this, one has to come in, sometimes knee can come in like this. So this time too, he's one leg. Now he's coming here, up. You can pull. Okay, you can shake in here, hold up. Then here, and you can go tie a bush. 
Alright? Then sometime you do that. We have a question from Jeremy Rines in Ohio. Kancho, do the challenges of fighting a trained martial artist change when you fight someone on the street, like a brawler on the street? How does Sabaki look like that? Yeah. Um, how do the cha- what? How what's different on the street? Uh, nothing different. You have to use sabaki halare. You cannot win. Yes. And I really long time not do outside, but when young time I went out of dojos and they challenged my dojo. Even I was Denver, the people come, they want to challenge, but. I have to finish, you know, just regular sparring. You cannot, right? You have to show. So sometimes uh, in Japan, this bar, I had to take out one guy, but he brought back sword. And he was hiding, and I had to stop him. So I pushed back to the uh, road, uh, you know, road control. So he starts taking him out. I didn't know how that he sold him, because he was hiding in the jacket. So. But I thought uh, if you take him out, I thought, you know, one problem. So I right away jumped in and got his arm, then um, back sword, I take him out, this, and I finished. And the manager came, they take care of uh, But, you know, outside the fighting, uh, insane. So I always think about if we just do. Uh, what's called like a ground fighting, ground fighting. But if other people come, you are going to lose too. So let's think about how can, if one to one, they're okay. But if we need this, somebody come, you cannot. So, and I, I said, just block, not to show me, block for you, but you're going to, somebody going to lose. You say too. So I think Sabaki is very important. When the blind starts, and come back, take me down. But, you know, I would like to say maybe now, very important finish, but if we finish, like a policeman, remember, you sat all the way, seven minutes, eight minutes, you can die. But I really like this martial arts, you know, how to make people grow, make, uh, by learning them, you know, make strong heart and everything more like that. That's a, that kind of martial art is very important. See? Not the finishing. Take off eyes, bam. Then what you gonna grind? Then you can't, right? Yes. So that kind of tournament, you should don't have it. You don't need it. In the life, you don't know how many times on the stage when fighting. People you know, like my age, 56, 70, fighting. That's crazy. <laughs> They shouldn't know, you know, how other people hurt. If you make hurt, they going, they cannot grow. So we are dojo, that kind of rule, you should have some kind of rule, always have. They do not MMA, they have a rule, so hey, you know, they cannot put either, send down the barn, you cannot, okay, some is not. You cannot uh, take joint the barn. Oh, I'm stronger, no. Before, you know, before choke, maybe going pass away too, but you can put the light away, they come back, no problem. And if you keep minute to minute, it's not going to be problems. Okay? Any questions, no? Um, no, I think we can keep going. Next technique. 
Kancho, could you could you explain the sabaki defense or counter against someone grabbing your neck like this? A clinch around your neck. Yes. Uh, anyway, even this kind of uh, dishes, then I think to come back in this. If you kick, that's the best one too. You kick it up, you're gonna head head up and look behind and then bam. You know, you don't want to stay down. It's not. Bam. So that grab back is important. Like I said, some back grab, you grab back. Make it even. Very tiny. Not from you, you, you. You know, I that's what I learned. Importance. Weight, they are move. And you can use it. That's what you come in like you using their power. They just ask you like this, you just twist it, you can turn. But when grab, don't put the head down. That's important. Even down once ago, they try to move it and take them out. A uh, question from California. Kancho, can you give any ideas about defending Uranage and countering from uh, Sensei Raymond Fong? Well, basically, this is like I showed, see? We still have Before Uranage, I told you, see, you don't want to go back way. Because, you know, his body went back, so you have to run there. Or he hold you, so uh, he pull you, then you get off balance, bam! Yeah, you get off balance too. So that's why I hold, and I show you the stick, you're going from here to the left, so this way down, then you can finish. But this one counter, but if they come, you know, everything right position, that's very hard, right? Maybe you can escape with this, or right before come, this one stop. Don't get this chin and huh? So uh, after kick, he wants to come up, huh? then you can counter back. You can slow too, so. You know, kind of important, don't get other hand too, so. It's kind of ideas. If not, we're going to escape like this. But if a good sleeper, like I did it, from outside to hook, that's very hard to step off. But even three, three coming like a two, if someone comes, we can go oh, there. Yeah. Bam, then you can go, whoop, then you can go. You can count the back. Skip off. Yeah, that's not the back floor. The back floor from the other side. Um, I try to my stuff. My stuff comes in. Yes. You don't get the back position. How can you go quick back position? If if you go like a sabaki, like a sabaki, outside the move, then very hard to go back for before back, then just you know, turn. So what's important is cross foot. If this foot come, and this foot move. Then other foot even turn and the move. Right? Then you can go like double up. Then you can go finish too. Back push is very hard. Go in there. They don't show wrong time. So you have to be quick. But if other foot count, not this side, then we're chasing this between the arms. So if you go, if you are chanting, right? this foot. Then, then he's going to move to the chair. Yeah, I think we're running 30. You don't need to take more minutes. Hold that good, then shoulder to the chair. Under the head. Then you can finish. Yeah, that's what I did. Then you can go in the back position. I think very important. And I showed the, uh, uh, what's called, uh, Sabaki challenge, that I take me to this it, and bam, and then, crunch. And I can go back, 
From Enshin, New Jersey, uh, Darren Chung is asking, Kancho, can you explain how to discourage a heavier opponent from rushing in on you and trying to force you backwards using sabaki? Should you aim to stay close to the heavier opponent until their attack is neutralized? I don't think so. You don't want to get close. Then it's just distance. So you don't want to sit back from the ears. So when they come, like uh, I showed, remember, now I was 175, other ones 50 pounds heavier, 223 pounds. And I had to fight him too, so I don't want really come in. But they came in once. Yeah, but, is okay? They were really going to start pushing. So I went to the back side here, then, bam, I kicked. But he went, didn't go down. But I really should get right. You know, because step outside. Not a big one is not uh, too much tolerant. They want to already be. So. And since Jota uh, did a good, you know, uh, they really want to kill them. They really want to push, push, push him to. So he went silent. Ah, you know, in the area. But still, who was the, from center line? And what's good uh, at the tournament? So he's big. So I don't want to come in first things. I can't stop him. So I just gotta stop him. And when they come, yeah, I'll tell you. I think that kind you have to do. Any question? So we have a question. Um, in your book, the Subaki method, you talk about the code of Bushido and the spirit's ability to animate the body. Can you talk about this in modern times? Mm. Yeah. So he's saying Bushido shinu koto to mitsu ka. Mitsuke Taru? Yeah. But right like now, this time of year, they don't do that. <laughs> they don't, you know, you have to make a deal. You know? Something big, and they back them. Not the everything do for you, everything about them. And that way, and this time of year, so they're different. You know? And you have a funny life, yes, you have to take it. For that, you need the money too. So, you know, the doubt is not. But a uh, long time ago, you don't need it to. So they take care of it for somebody, something like that. But anyway, I think, you know, I think the important, if you want to be good or strong, you know, you have to find out your technique. They are very important, right? And some people are very tall and short, bigger, stronger, some weak, uh, uh, skinny, stuff like that. So you need to find out what is your best technique. And you have to sweat them, not just by watching uh, DVD, movies, then, oh, I understand, I understand. No, no, that's sweat. That's not right. Yes, that's right. You know, then practice many times. Then you start, like I said, you start on um, they what they want to do, you then start reading their mind and you can go, you know, blind stuff. And you can go situation, sometimes stopping, sweeping, you can use that way. So other way, uh it's not very hard. Okay. From Australia, Shihan Judd Reed is asking, Kancho, um, when you fought, what was your favorite technique? 
That's my head set is the uh, both track is sweet. I use it a lot of time. And that time this had an inside low kick too, right? But uh, I tried to using uh, back kick too. And punches, I have a feel like I can, I, you know, tournament I many people I knock down with a left hand hook punch. So uh, right now, uh, Mat, uh, Kancho Matsui uh, from Japan came to here, and he told me to, oh, Kancho Minomiya is the first time there's a punch and knocking down other people's. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I like to do punch, and that much I need to practice, right? Put the weight, and, you know, many sets, and practicing, low kick, bam, 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 bam. You know, so many times this time kind of practice. At that time, not too much sloppy movement, see? But then, uh, lucky, this age, then, you know, using the sabaki. I like to say oh, one thing is, when the idea that, you know, young time, try to attack, attack and take down people, and start stopping and waiting, pedal away, go to the blind spot. The technique is always our change, you know, for progress. It should be changed, see? Not all the same. And I say is, but you, you cannot change, you should not change your, your spirit and soul, you know, respecting people, you know, you shouldn't know other people, how hurt, you know, stuff you shouldn't know, that can inform. Just like, uh, think about it, uh, uh, like brothers, they made how many? About 100 years ago, he made uh, fire airplane by, you know, uh, people's power. And made it fly, you know, went too high. Then made that uh, uh, propeller, then when it started flying too. Right? Like now, the jet, and faster than sound. And that. But, you know, important is, they never forget, is for people, safety, you have to carry to other family friends and try quick, not take too long. That's why it's safety and the fast. You know, that kind is never change. Kind of same like a karate, the inside should be changing, but technique should be progress, good way should change. How do you train different times of your life? How do you see training in different times of the life? That is very telling. You don't ask. When time comes, you know, you know your body. So you don't need to ask nothing. Just you feel that way. Right? You know, 60, 70, 80, then when you come out and push your watch and bang, kick in face and this, that's, I, I, I'm not thinking that way. Make them kick. Make them tired. Right? Make sure they don't make me hit. And when chance comes, off their balls, then take them down. So if you down this much, you don't need to pick up higher than bang, you can kick, you can sweep, you don't need to pick them up. So, and time comes, I think, okay, okay. Five more minutes, we're going to cut it. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, I'm really happy in here. And this happened, you know, front of my set up everything, and this time, uh, made a kind of, you know, quite awesome. Like we said, thank you here, and thank you for, you know, everybody watching this and questioning. Uh, I had a good time. And thank you very much for Blackbird Magazine, too. Thank you. Awesome.